Every limb and cat contains an IK system. If we select the hub of this character and move it around, we can see that this leg is being solved using IK. If we select any bone in the leg and go to the motion panel, we can see a rollout called limb animation. On this rollout is a slider called IKFK, and if we slide this slider to the right, the leg goes into FK, and when we move this hub object around, the hierarchy follows it like any hierarchy in Max. This hierarchy is animated using our layer system, it can be animated using just by keyframing it like normal. FK driven IK means that the shape of the leg while in FK controls the shape of the leg while in IK. So the IK system will match as closely as possible what the FK system has been, uh, how the FK system is shaped. If I put this leg back into FK, we can animate the shape of this leg by simply grabbing bones and rotating it. Now if we put this leg back into FK, we can see that the IK solution uses that shape as a basis for the IK solution. So now we can see that the IK system can change shape throughout the animation according to this animation of the FK solution. We can also select bones and keyframe them using the position tool. So we can grab these bones and move them in any axis we choose. When we move these bones, it keyframes the FK solution. If we put this limb back into FK, we can see the sh animation of the limb in FK is, is animating and this is causing the change in the shape of the IK solution. If I select any of these bones and go to the hierarchy panel and look at the link info page, we can see a selection of flags. One of these flags is the animation lock and another one is called effect hierarchy. If I turn off effect hierarchy and turn off the position animation lock, I can actually change the shape of this leg, I can actually change the position of these bones relative to each other. So to select parent in my coordinate system, I can animate this bone up the parent and I can also select its parent bone and do the opposite. Turn off the animation lock, turn off effect hierarchy and pull this bone down. So this hierarchy is now moving. Each of the bones are moving with respect to each other. If I go back to the motion panel and put this leg back into IK, we can see that this, so this limb is still solving for IK despite the animated position offsets of each of these bones. FK system driven IK gives the artist a lot of control over the shape of the leg and also with animated position offsets the user can set up configurations such as sliding joints or legs whose bone lengths are not constant throughout an animation. For example, a robot with uh, hydraulic cylinders driving the length of the legs. And the IK system will always work no matter how much the artist distorts the shape of the leg.